Hey everyone, we're back. Again, you find out. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna continue on with Kellogg's memory. Kellogg's cornflakes. <laughs> It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kinda green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. They cry. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Oh, I wanted to read the access memory. Oh, no, there we go. <clears throat> Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, She'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. It's gonna be fine. Wow. You'll see. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not talking much in this uh, series right now. It's like, I'm watching, I'm listening and watching this stuff. This is cool. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. <laughs> he was doing a little dance. But most likely it seems that he tried to betray the people that he worked with. And they killed his wife and daughter. So now we know how Connie feels. Jesus, man. In a way, we're not sim we're similar in many ways. <clears throat> Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek away. 
Well, we seem to be getting closer. Interesting. What is next one? I wanna... I wanna... Listen to the story. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. <clears throat> they just took it as part of the job. Little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. Get out. All Suit right. Yourself. <clears throat> Let's move on. We gotta go on to the next memory. Maybe we can find something more. Oh, it's interesting. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive <clears throat> of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Systems offline. Hmm. <laughs> Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Well, reset this one. I want to listen to it. <clears throat> Stupid game, hurry up! Mr. Kellogg. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. Their eyes are moving. I'm glad you decided. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. To meet you. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more and kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. So. That's the same. <clears throat> All right, is this the last one? Yeah. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. 
wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Vault computers are still working. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Me! Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, I never liked to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of, uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but, uh, still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. <laughs> if he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. <clears throat> that is true. Are you gonna move on? This is the one. Here. Open it. Okay. Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here, wait. baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. It's okay. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. I'm used to the pain. We're all right. We're gonna kick some ass. <clears throat> Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. 
It'll be back to normal business before too long. Um. Hmm? Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging uh, in here like that. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. What is this but the blade? Corsers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter. Stronger and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So... I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? If anything like this had ever happened before, I'd never heard of it. Maybe a sign that the old man was losing his grip. Finding someone in the glowing sea wasn't gonna be any picnic. I never expected an institute egghead to give me so much trouble. Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Uh, he just vanished. Oh, there he is. <clears throat> What's going on? What's this? X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Uh. Bye. What? Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. <clears throat> Do it! Get me out of this machine! I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. This thing's got stems How do you in feel? It. I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no <clears throat> long-term damage. <clears throat> Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? I don't know. That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. I'll find a way. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. <laughs> By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Alright, cool. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna be taking all this.
You might think it's bad, but ooh. Yes. Oh, much knowledge. Good to see someone trying to bring it back. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and glance around. Alright, let's head upstairs and see how Nick is. I think I'm gonna travel with Nick from now on. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Uh, Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, <clears throat> since you've got company already. No, you're leaving. Let's get going. I mean, you're uh, you're one coming heck with of me. a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. Uh, let's go to Sanctuary. All right, Nick. Let's get going. We're gonna go to the Glowing Sea. Actually, I'm gonna scratch that off. We're gonna end the episode in a little bit. But before we do that, we're gonna go to the Sanctuary and we're gonna set up a power suit. Alright. Yeah, it's making me go down and, uh, here, find Virgil in the Glowing Sea. We're gonna go up to Sanctuary and get the power suit and fix it all up. <clears throat> That's how we're gonna do it. Because power suits, uh, if you do uh, build them correctly, you can extend radiation from getting to you. So, it'd be really good. <clears throat> also, I could bring up my radiation, uh, resistance, too. But I need to level up. I'm almost there to level up, but to level up I need to do missions, and yeah. Kind of enjoying just going by the main quest. I want to see how far I can get with just this low level. <clears throat> hey, Nick. There's the power suit. Hey. What are you doing to my power suit? Stop, but leave my power suit alone, you big meanie. Alright, let's, uh, store junk. Let's see what my inventory's like. Pretty good. <clears throat> Craft? Militia. Military paint. Why can I not? Aluminum, that's why. Is it all repaired? <clears throat> yeah, look at this. Can I do anything? No. Oh. What uh what does military paint do? Increase the strength of uh with all pieces painted. Fuck it. We're just gonna pretty much. I'll probably do this off screen, getting aluminum and whatnot. Probably. I don't know. I'm just getting it off here. Uh, until next time, this is Josh Duki. You gotta stop that name! My name is Craigie, not Yoshi. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get going. We're gonna go and cook first. <laughs> But yeah, uh, tell me down below in the uh, chat if you're enjoying this series. I know I haven't been doing it much, but still, I, uh, I get to do it once in a while, and I enjoy it greatly, playing this game. I want to do Star Wars uh, Republic Commando again, but the problem is, for some reason, DX Story is not recording it. I need to figure out if it's the codex or something's wrong. Anyways, I'm going to get going. See you guys next time. Bye, Nick!